know that when it comes to the most successful crypto projects, one of the key aspects of their success is the strength of their community. But have you ever heard of a project whose key focus was community building itself? Well, today I have a project for you whose goal is literally just that. The project is called Galaxis, a decentralized community building platform that allows you to monetize your creativity. Now, one spoiler alert, they are selling fake nodes. So if you remember 2022 and 2021, you know what fake nodes are. They do say that they are partnered with Chainlink and that they have some big players involved, including being partnered with Steve Aoki and Mike Tyson. But before I do a deep dive into Galaxis, as always, make sure that you smash that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe, boom, bang on that notification bell. Comment anything that you want in the relevant sections. I appreciate it. Now, let's go see if Galaxis is gonna be a smash or a pass. So Galaxis is a decentralized community building platform based out of Switzerland. Their purpose is to offer a decentralized approach to creating, managing, owning, and being a part of an online community. These communities can include, but aren't limited to, apparently, Web3 projects, artists, athletes, online personalities, open source software, scientists, politicians, companies, and more. They even reached out to me to see if I would do a video on them for paid advertisement, but obviously I looked into the platform and I went ahead and did a video for free. Not as a paid advertisement. And you won't find a referral link to their fake node that they're selling right now. So don't look for it in the description section because it's not there. Now, an easy way to look at Galaxis is a central network that houses different communities built by these parties. Each community functions as a separate space on the network and what ties users to any community are digital membership cards. The membership card is a central piece of the Galaxis ecosystem. They are essentially the digital tokens that provide access to any community along with different features and function. The card and its perks are fully owned by the community member and it can be used, sold, gifted, or even destroyed by the owner, just like a physical object. Not sure why you'd destroy it, but if you did, that option is available. Each membership card has several different customizable perks that its owner has the ability to access. These include physical redeemables, digital redeemables, online meetings, autographs, online game access, discounts, and much more. Physical redeemable perks enable the owner of the membership card to redeem a physical object. This can include merchandise or collectibles, all which will be delivered physically to the member's home address. Digital redeemable perks allow cardholders to claim specific digital items or benefits associated with the community. This is an effective way to give out airdrops or give cardholders access to digital arts like NFTs. The online meeting perk is pretty self-explanatory, but it provides the cardholder with the opportunity to select a date and time to have a digital meeting with the issuer. This is a great feature for content creators, artists, athletes, and similar people with large large fan bases to have an opportunity to connect with their fans. Now, autograph perks are simple. If you have one on your community membership card, you can send a message to the issuer and claim an autograph. The issuer will see your message and can hand sign something on their tablet or smartphone, which will then appear on the front of your membership card. Galaxis gamification traits allow community members to participate in community-wide games and use their cards in sticker books and other engagement events. All right, this is just a handful of examples that could be used to enhance the experience for community members and creators. So if you're interested in learning more, there's plenty of info on their website. Creating the membership card doesn't actually require any coding or programming experience. All you need to do is use the token architecture feature in the community admin interface. This admin interface is called Mission Control and you can easily manage all aspects of your community there. Now, the Galaxis ecosystem is powered by the GLX token, which is not out yet, but will be hopefully launched on both Ethereum and Polygon blockchains soon, so they say. It was designed to benefit creators and their communities. The token can be topped up on your membership card and will have many use cases, such as payments, community events, and voting. The GLX token is designed to grow in value as platform adoption grows, as any token is, right? That's everybody's hope, at least. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. But hey, the fake nodes might prop price up for a little bit. When you top up your membership card with GLX, these tokens are added to the community staking pool. The more tokens a community has in their staking pool, the higher they will be ranked against other community. Competition aspect here, great pitting people against each other. Nice. The top communities in Galaxis ecosystem will be able to obtain grants for their community treasury. Staking GLX also allows communities features like having their own individual community token. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a securities risk. I don't know if they have their issuing license 
license to be a broker dealer and like issue digital securities on the behalf of people. But if they don't, they should probably think about that before they start issuing people and letting them issue tokens. Now the GLX token distribution is advertised in this figure, but the highest percentages distributed were to the team marketing and to the nodes, the fake nodes. Why do I call them fake nodes? Because you're not actually hosting any nodes. <laughs> But what exactly are these nodes then? Each node is called a Galaxis engine. Galaxis engines are the powerhouse of the Galaxis ecosystem, so they say. Mining and distributing the launch keys that creators need to invite their communities on the Galaxis platform. The Galaxis engines play a role in growing the Galaxis ecosystem and provide different perks for holders. They can be purchased for $1,000 as of right now because they sold through the first 10,000 of them. Now, if we've got any crypto OGs in the room, remember Strongblock, remember Thor Finance, Remember the fake nodes? That's essentially what this is because I can find zero information on how you actually host a node. It's not like a Gala node, right? I have one of those, I host it. It's not like an Ethereum validator. It's not like an AVAX validator like Wolf or Finance owns. It's not like a Flux node like Wolf or Finance has. It is just a fake node and it's just like a trigger work. So it seems like 2021 and 2022 are starting all over again. Now, engine holders have the opportunity to earn data daily rewards from the platform's engines pool accounting for 24% of the total supply of tokens. Again, not mining it, not validating transactions. GLX does not have its own chain or anything like that, which shows you that these are not actually nodes. So understand what you're buying if you buy this node. Nodes run blockchains. GLX is going to be on Ethereum and Polygon. Those are blockchains. Your GLX node, your engine is not a node. It is not a master node. It is not a validator node. It is like basically just an NFT that gets Ponzi reward from the 24% of supply of that token that's been locked up. And that's going to make it inflationary. Just saying. Now, the total supply of GLX is 7.5 billion tokens. The pool allocation starts at 60 million GLX every month. The GLX will be distributed to the users on a daily basis. Guaranteed. Which means 2 million GLX will be distributed distributed to engine holders every day. Guaranteed returns, guaranteed tokens, sounds like a Ponzi. So how many daily tokens will that be exactly? The exact token price has not yet been announced and so there's actually no idea what it's going to be. And I couldn't find any reliable sources online regarding what that is, but they also did not specify this in their white paper. So as far as the daily profit that you will make, we have to wait until the official token launch to find out because literally right now it's zero. But in the meantime, to figure out how much GL you can make on a daily basis, just divide the 2 million daily tokens by the number of nodes that are currently live. Nodes. Seeing as there are currently around 10,000 nodes currently live, it'd be about 200 GLX tokens per day worth a whopping zero dollars. The more active nodes there are, the less money that you will actually be able to make. Also, they tier this every single, like so many nodes that are sold and the price goes up. Similar to Gala, but it's not actually a node on a blockchain like Gala has. Weird, I know. So this definitely incentivizes investors to get in early in order to make the most profit. But if you get in late, you're probably gonna get wrecked like you did on all the other fake nodes. But it does have some good marketing behind the Galaxist ecosystem, right? As I mentioned earlier in the video, Mike Tyson and Steve Aoki have both launched their own individual NFTs on the platform. But that doesn't mean that they actually believe in the project, right? They're just using it. Now, this is all speculation, but different sources have also stated that Galaxis has a partnership with the NBA. My guess is that they don't, and if they did, they would probably let everybody know that, and so would the NBA. That would bring a lot of attention to their platform if that is true. So go look into that. Galaxis has also partnered with Chainlink to integrate Chainlink CCIP, the industry standard for cross-chain interoperability on Ethereum and Polygon mainnets. So what that really means is they're not actually partnered with Chainlink. They're just using one of Chainlink's ready-made solutions that anyone can use because it's open sourced. They say that this will help them build cross-chain membership cards, enabling more seamless token gated community spaces across the Web3 ecosystem and all this other stuff. Good to know. All in all, I would say that Galaxis has some potential for adoption because of its user-friendly interface that requires essentially no coding experience. That would essentially allow anyone interested in getting involved to do so easily, right? Which is great because that could help with adoption. The membership card is also a pretty unique approach for getting people invested. But if I had to put my actual opinion on this, I would say it's probably just a guaranteed ROI Ponzi scheme 
team and we saw how all the fake nodes worked out in the past and they all said they were had utility they all said they were going to build a blockchain none of them did it so if you want to repeat of 2021 and 2022 all over again i guess this would be your bag and if you get in early enough we get it people can make money but it's usually the people that get in late they get wrecked and even the people that get in early get wrecked too because there's no guarantee that this token actually ever launches and that there's ever going to be any liquidity for you to get out of the liquidity pool for you to sell the token to actually make some money off of it so with that being said hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview of what galaxis is what i'm seeing and trust me I've been on this for two years, okay? I was there during the fake node crisis, the fake miners, all the auto compounders, the reflection tokens. I called all of them out. Every single one of them plummeted into oblivion, went to zero. And if you want a couple of projects that you can count on in 2024, look no further than Wolfer Finance and Precent. Wolfer Finance is a blockchain infrastructure company that does master and validator noting for some of the top blockchains that you've definitely heard of. Ethereum, Avalanche, Flux, FTM, and we have a potential mining arm for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doge coming out in the future. We also own at Wolfer Finance a 10% equity position in a revolutionary wallet transaction security software called Presend.io. Presend now has two pending patents in multiple jurisdictions in the United States and other jurisdictions that I'll tell you about in another video. We prevent cross blockchain transactions from ever being lost in that market ether. For example, try sending BNB to Coinbase. You'll be able to send it there, but it'll never show up. You just lost all of your money. Pre-send is what prevents that from happening and we filed two patents on it. So if you're looking for two different projects that you can help diversify your portfolio with in 2024 that have been in operation since 2022, look no further and make sure that you click that very first link in the description section below so that you can sign up for the alerts and when those offerings come up, we will send out an email to you when the opportunity opens. And if you are staying on top of all of the crypto alpha you're in the right place so make sure that you smash that like button make sure you hit subscribe boom bang on that notification bell comment anything that you want in the relevant sections i appreciate it thank you so much for showing up to this video i will see you in the next one have a good day everyone